Yeah, Kyle Dubois, K-Y-L-E, last name spelled Dubois, D-U-B-O-I-S. And uh, your uh, billet and unit in downtown? Yeah, so I'm the company first sergeant, uh, landing support company, third transportation support battalion, hometown Chickabee, Massachusetts. So we actually have uh, three helicopter support team missions that are going on this week, getting picked up here at Godfrey Field on Camp Foster, taking us out to Range 17 aboard uh, the MV-22 aircraft. Um, helicopter support team operations are uh, give us the ability to uh, attach uh, payload underneath an aircraft, to sling load that, that payload, whether it's a vehicle or it could be cargo of other sorts in, in a sling configuration. Um, from one location to another, uh, possibly to uh, avoid uh, terrain that would otherwise not be trafficable by, uh, by vehicle. So today the training is between uh, Landing Support Company, 3rd TSB, uh, LS Platoon, and uh, VMM-265, which is an MV-22 squadron. So uh, the, the main two aircraft that we do the helicopter support team uh, mission set with is an MV-22 as well as a CH-53. Those are the, the, the Marine Corps' medium and heavy, uh, heavy lift assets for uh, the rotary wing aircraft. Um, and so those are the two aircraft that we uh, rehearse with and, and, and prepare uh, to, to utilize in, in real world scenarios. So I think that, that really in order to be, to be ready to fight tonight, you know, we have to be a predictive uh, combat service support for uh, all of the, 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 the units that require the support, right? So uh, by providing uh, this HST capability, uh, it, it gives us the ability to, to not only train the MAW in their TNR events, uh, but also remain sharp and, and brilliant in our basics, uh, which this is one of our uh, main mission essential tasks is to be able to complete the, uh, the helicopter support team uh, operation and, and move that cargo um, by that means. So uh, in support of uh, humanitarian assistance, disaster relief efforts, uh, those are all um, uh, possibilities for uh, this particular mission set. Yeah, so currently we've been conducting them an awful lot, uh, which, which not only benefits us in, in the discipline of, of uh, landing support company, but also um, the, uh, the MA as well. Uh, but it would seem like we've been conducting them almost on a weekly basis uh, in, uh, over the last few months, for sure. It's, it's been busy. I think that the largest challenge for, uh, for my 0481 landing support Marines that are, that are out underneath these aircraft is, is uh, the communication aspect uh, amongst one another. It's very loud, very chaotic. Uh, there's a lot of debris flying around, um, and there's a lot of, uh, of high-risk aspects uh, that can become very unsafe under the aircraft. Um, if they're not be, you know, being very vigilant. So I think that the hand and arm signals, uh, as well as their, uh, their just general um, situational awareness while conducting the job is, is extremely important. I think above all else is the, is the discipline aspect that, uh, that uh, I looked at to ensure is being taken away from uh, these events. Uh, seemingly small things such as uh, the wear of the proper wear of the PPE, um, the proper execution of each collateral duty underneath that aircraft while, uh, while they're hooking up the cargo. Um, while individually they may seem like small things, the, uh, the brilliance in each and every one of those individual aspects of the operation um, really is, is what makes or breaks you when things aren't going perfect. So I think that uh, ensuring that those PCCs, PCIs are done um, and that we remain vigilant at all times uh, is really what we, what we get from the sustainment of, uh, of the helicopter support team operation in specific. I, I just want to, uh, want to highlight the, uh, the unique aspect of, of the landing support company, 3rd Transportation Support Battalion. And we've got three platoons that are all doing uh, very different things from one another. We've got a platoon uh, at K5 Wright at Kadena of 0481s uh, and some heavy equipment operators as well that uh, conduct the 3 MEF ADAG uh, out there. And then we have uh, the third air delivery platoon here uh, that conducts all of the air delivery support for the MLG and, and 3 MEF. Uh, and then we also have the landing support platoon that conducts uh, everything from the HSCs that we've been talking about to uh, port, railhead, and beach uh, operations to ensure that logistics um, are, are 
are being transported from point A to point B. First name, Garrick Koken, G-A-R-R-I-C-K, Koken, K-O-C-A-N. So my bill here is the operations chief for Lane Support Platoon, Lane Support Company, 0481, Hamlet, North Carolina. So this week we're conducting external lifts in support of VMM 265 off of MCAS Futema. So we'll be going out, setting up a net load of seven ton and Humvee tires, and then we'll rig it up to the, to the bird and they'll do their flight patterns with it, drop it off and then reset, pick it up, and do that in succession until the train's complete. Today we're utilizing the MV-22 Osprey. And other than that, our other main aircraft that we usually work with is the CH-53 Echo. So there's our two main ones. So today we have our three seven ton tires and Humvee tire that we get from MRT whenever they have used them up. That's our load. And then we use 10K nets, which have a 10,000 pound load capacity. And besides that, we use 40K slings, which have a 40,000 pound load capacity. So as far as the operations go and the planning, we get our tasking from the unit and whatever unit needs support, we'll get our information as far as LZ, what they want to do, single point, dual point things of that nature. And as soon as we have all the information we put in our transportation requests, our RIFMAS request for the range or LZ that we're utilizing. And then we do our internal preps here. Our um, HST commanders, which is typically a corporal, will get his team ready and they'll inspect the gear, make sure it's all serviceable. And once it's all inspected and serviceable, it'll be staged aside for pickup. Under 22 is pretty, um, it's pretty rough stuff. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like it before until I joined the Marine Corps and I, I started doing my MOS. Uh, it's probably the first time I've experienced anything like that, but it's pretty close to very powerful hurricane force winds, honestly, because you're fighting for your feet the whole time you're out there. And God forbid you stand straight up because you're gonna get blown away. But um, I guess a good comparison, if you could think of being a tiny person getting sucked up by a vacuum cleaner and you're inside of a oven the whole time as well because you're catching that um the uh the heat coming off the turbines there will cook you up pretty good on uh, 53s 53s are our money that's where we like to be because it's kind of like the same thing when the bird's coming in you get quite a bit of wind it'll blow you over you have to fight for it a little bit but once that bird's over you it kind of blocks out the downwash so you're good there you ever heard the um inside of an eye of, of a tornado or whatever it's really hellacious on the outside, but as soon as it's directly over you, it kind of calms down. It's kind of like that. No, I wouldn't say anything too specific. Um, night operations, as you can imagine, are a little tougher just because of visibility, but honestly, it's nothing that's going to render us um, to an extent where we can't complete the mission. So there's not too much of a difference. This week, I'd say this train went very well so far. We're, we're having a good time. The pilots from VMM 265 are doing a great job out there. I had a lot of my Marines compliment on how well the pilots are doing. A lot of pilots have, have, I wouldn't say an issue, but they'll come in full throttle. And obviously you can tell by the downwash when somebody's full throttle, because it's a lot worse. But I think these pilots have a good, happy medium there. They're able to manage their throttle. They're not blowing our guys away. So we lucked out with some really good pilots this week. That's all I have. If you have anything else to add, you can. That's all I got, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right.